This is National 5, it's the indices homework, and we're looking at questions 4, 5, and 6 in this short clip. Right, first one we're going to simplify, and it's uh, 3a squared times 2a, all divided by a squared. Right, so let's go ahead and we'll, we'll get this one going. Right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to times the numbers together on the top. So that's like 3 times 2 will give me 6, and then I've got a squared times a, remember a is to the power of 1, and remember our laws that we've got with uh, with indices, that will be a to the power of 2 plus 1 on the top there. On the bottom, I've got a squared. Right, I'm just going to gather this wee bit together here, so that's going to be 6a to the power of 3, and that's all to the, over a to the power of 2. Remember when we're dividing indices, what we can say that's going to be is 6 a to the power of 3 take away the 2. So when we're dividing, we subtract the indices, and that's going to give me a final answer of 6a to the power of 1, but uh, we don't write down the 1 um, for, for this type of work. So that's that question complete. Let's look at fi question 5. So expressing its simplest form, y to the power of 4 times y all over y to the minus 2. So just remember that y there sitting there with a power of 1 on the top of it. And what we'll do is, first of all, we'll multiply the indices at the top. So if I multiply these here, then what we're going to do is we're going to add the indices here. y to the power of 4 plus 1, all over y to the minus 2. Gather the top bit together, so that's y to the power of 5, all over y to the minus 2. So remember when we're dividing, we subtract so we've got y to the power of 5 minus, but it's a minus 2 that's on the bottom. And remember what that is, that's y to the power of 5 plus 2. When I think about my negative number work. And that's going to give me a final answer of y to the power of 7. Okay, and that's that question complete. Right, for question 6, what we're doing is we're trying to evaluate 16 to the power of 3 quarters. Okay. Right, normally when I'm doing this type of work, some, some people can go straight from there to the answer. Usually what I would like to do is just to convert it into a third form, so I can see what I'm, what I'm trying to work out. So the way I'm going to convert it into third form, I'm going to have the 16 in the root sign. And what I've got here is the 3 is the power, so that goes to the top. And the 4 at the bottom is a root, so that goes outside here. So that's the fourth root of 16 cubed. Okay, that's the, the question that I'm really ta trying to evaluate. And evaluating, I'm going to try and get a number for my answer coming out of this here. One thing I could do, first of all, I could cube 16 and then take the fourth root of that number, but that's quite a difficult way to go. What I would like to do, first of all, would take the fourth root of 16. Now, trying to work out the fourth root of 16, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and think, is it, it could it be 1? So, 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, that still gives me 1, so it's not that. What about 2? 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And 8 times 2 is 16. So, the fourth root of 16 is going to be 2. Okay. I've not cubed it yet, so I'm going to do that bit next. So when I do this type of work, take the root first, make it a small number, then cube the smaller number. It makes it easier to work out. So 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. And that's the, the final answer for that question there, so that's it evaluated. Right, let's see the marks here again. So what we've got for question 4, we're going to get 3 marks in here. So we're going for one mark for getting the uh, the number 6 out there for multiplying the 3 and the 2 together, or knowing that that's the way that we go. We'll go for one mark for getting the a cubed that's there, and one mark for the final. So that's three marks in total for question 4. Question 5, we've got two marks we're getting here. One mark we're getting for the y to the power of 5. And finally, one mark for the, the answer, y to the power of 7. For question 6, we've got two marks. So one for getting into that uh, form that's there and knowing how to, to work that one through. And finally, for getting the, the answer here. 
Okay, so marks here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So this part here, out of seven marks, up to question six, we've got 12 marks in total.